Welcome to another fantastic, horror-tastic, fucking crap-tastic edition of Hillbilly Deep Blues. And today we're going to review the fucking piece of ultimate garbage, Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. Oh, Sam Raimi came back from fucking <laughs> Master of Horror. Yeah, no, he's back. Master of Horror yeah. making comic book movies the last yeah. ten years. Finally, Evil Dead is back against Evil Dead Part Four. All right. No, 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 no it's movie. not. It's movie's a pile a of, of fucking shit. dog shit. I hate this movie. I so hate much. this fucking oh movie. Goodness. Let's get in right here. We got the plot right here. You got Allison Lohman, who is like forty years old, but she looks like a twelve-year-old. It's fucking the whole weird Ellen Page. Rama fucking uh, yeah. <laughs> dynamic going I mean, on. I mean, that alone was weird enough. Right? Yeah, was... that was fucking bizarre. Anyway, her boyfriend is a cheese dick Matt guy commercial fucking Justin Long motherfucker. Die hard for him. Which, which, which is, he's not really not that bad for a bland actor, but God, is he terrible in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole crux of this piece of shit is that she's a small town hillbilly girl living in LA. She works at a fucking bank. With the most unrealistic bank, looks like they just made this thing fucking the day before they shot this. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it, talk, talk about cheap sound stage bullshit. Man. Anyway, she got this fucking annoying co worker trying to, you know, steal her promotion, whatever. And David Pamer, he plays her boss and he says, Well, uh, you know, in order to uh, become the assistant manager of uh, Bank of Cheese Dick, uh, you gotta be able to make tough decisions. Tough decisions. T tough decisions. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. You work, because you're gonna hear it over and, and over, over and, and over. And tough decisions. That's how good the screenwriting for fucking Ivan Ramey is in this. Yeah. The fucking Ivan Ramey, Sam Ramey wrote it. Fucking sure, Bobo Ramey did write it. Because the fucking worst yeah. dialogue, worst. Right. Oh, it's story awful. plot, anything. Her whole job is she's gotta like foreclose on, on some people. She gotta steal houses. old ladies' banks. Yeah, yeah. So, so she, so some old lady comes to visit her at the bank and it's all some old gypsy woman. She's all creepy. Yeah, old some woman. old, some old poor yeah, woman. She's like, eh, 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 let me live in my house for free. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you know, she's just begging for a second chance. But like, because, well, because uh, what's your face wants to promote? She's like, yeah, no, she's no. like, she's like, wait, wait. She's like, she's like, she's first, she's like, I'll live, she live in your house for free, ma'am. And then she's like, she goes to her manager, she's like, please let this lady live for free. And he's like, I don't know. Tough decision. Tough decision. Tough decision. Blah, 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 blah. tough decision. <laughs> so she walks out, she goes, sorry, I gotta make a tough decision. You're losing your and house. It's, it's almost like when they say the word tough decision, they like look in the camera and go, tough decision. Right, I know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you shouldn't tell the movie, the working title <laughs> is tough, 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 tough decision. decision. <laughs> tough decision, the movie. <laughs> Sam Raimi's tough decision. So, it sounds like an early 80s blue collar comedy about a bunch of steel workers. Exactly. Like <laughs> Michael Keaton. Mike Keaton, I remember. Going got those cheers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, tough decision, AK Drag Me Out. The lady puts a curse on her. Then the fucking lady becomes a zombie and fucking crawls into a fucking uh, back of her car, attacks her, and all this bullshit. And basically, the rest of the movie, this old lady as a zombie trying wait, to. Wait, kill her. wait, we forgot one fucking thing. This movie is rated oh, PG 13. Oh. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so, I mean, like, right off the bat, there's no reason for you to see it. No. Whether you agree with our no. review or not, there's really no reason. It's a horror movie that's made of PG 13 yeah, horror can yeah. suck a dick yeah, and yeah. die. Because it's PG-13, there's unseen fucking zombie fucking demon forces after fake bullshit. You know, this movie tries to be so gross out. There's like, instead of people getting their heads cut off and blood spurting, it's just pretty much fuckers barfing for two hours. Yeah, man. There's so much like barf in her mouth. Don't yeah, you yeah, yeah. bitch gets it's barf just, in her mouth. Gross, man. It's just some it's gross like, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, it's silly. And it's so fake. Everything's CGI barf, CGI blood. Well, that's the worst of it, man. Don't even get me started on CGI. Fuck it. It was David Payne where he got the nosebleed and he's like, Everybody's like pretending like they're getting ahead of the face, but you can see it's just cartoon blood. Yeah, man. I mean, Fuck how, I mean, that. I mean, how, it's pretty hard to react to something horrific yeah. that's not even there. Yeah, it's not gross out if it doesn't physically look like it's even there. I mean, yeah, come man. on. So they go, they go to some psychics, they go to some more psychics, they go to some exorcisms, some bullshit flies around, fucking uh, people fly around the air and, and, and act like fucking deadites, even though, of course, nobody gets killed, nothing like, fucking happens. It's like a Harry Potter movie. She's, 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 she's <laughs> swirling in the air nonstop. Swirling, swirling, swirling. <laughs> What, what, what's scary about that? <laughs> no. Come on, Sam Raimi. What, what's Nothing. going on here? So, I mean... Fuck it, man. Spoiler. At the end, she gets dragged to hell. Spoiler alert. And I ain't seen the fucking 
CGI this Batson's PlayStation One fucking twisted I, I, metal. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, I mean the CGI was so bad. I, I, I wasn't sure if she was going to real hell on that Looney Tunes. Hell. I know. You know what I mean with the dog as the ear, the, the horns. I mean, it was, it was just it, so. I, awful. It looked it, it, like the, so the little bad. the fire coming up and the skeleton hands. It looks like some bullshit. Off. CGI. It looks like some bullshit. It looks off some from Jumanji Mortal CGI. Combat. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Jumanji. Jumanji. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you! Cut to the chase. What do you give it on a movie scale of one to ten, dude? I, honestly, I mean, there's so many more reasons why it's bad than what we said, but I. Oh, I mean, we could rag it, but what's the fucking point, yeah, man? I e mean, either you're gonna see it and fucking agree with us, or you're gonna be one of them little fucking crybabies in the comments down there, and you're going. Oh, well, I, I like the movie. It was Evil Dead Four. No, no you, it know, wasn't. you know what? I give it a zero. In fact, only reason I watched this because the goat made me. I had no interest. I made it. He brings a Blu-ray. He's like, get drunk and watch this movie. Mm -hmm. and I did. And I hated it. I hate it too. Awesome. Zero out of ten. Awesome. Fuck them. Awesome. Picture and sound, this one being a blur ray. Okay, we can't shit on it that much. Oh, you know what? It's It looks okay, but there's a lot of scenes where shit is just drab, kind of gray looking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not terrible. Picture and sound, I'm going. But it ain't mind blowing either. I'm going to go seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give it a solid six. But, like, the, the reason why it's lower is because. It's such a good quality picture. It actually makes the CGI worse, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's the cartoon. Exactly. So exactly. The picture you is know? so clear I mean, when that demon, like, throws her around the room yeah, and, yeah. and tries to do the fucking ass shit from Evil Dead. Right. It just, I mean, it, it looked like this motherfucker should be fighting Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Not a yeah, human exactly, being. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised Mel Blake didn't do the voice of a fucking zombie. Yeah, fucking no, special features. Yeah. You got some digital copy bullshit that already fucking expired, so I couldn't even use it. Now it's just a and then, movie. yeah, and then for additional features, you got production video diaries, discover Sigurd's pound, drag me a hill with interviews behind this footage featuring stars Justin Long, Allison Loman. I, I mean, they're, they're there, but the movie's so horrible. Who cares? Why do you want to see it? Who, Who cares? Shit? Who cares? And, and, and fucking, uh, you know, it's funny that Sam Raimi ain't even fucking on some extra feature. He's trying to hide from this bullshit. He's embarrassed. He knows he, know, he, 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 he knows he sold out the PG-13, yeah, though. Man. Special hey. features. They had some shit. It sucked. Three out of ten. All right, man. I'll give it a three, but uh, only because I don't even know anything else to give it. I, I could care less. <laughs> I will never pop that movie in a Blu-ray ever again. So fucking I mean, horrible. Uh, That's dragging me to hell. That's dog shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, see it for yourself. I, I, I couldn't hate a movie any more than I hate this. Yeah, agreed. Agreed.